Big chicken? Mm-hmm. For a big boy. Yeah. Mm. Mm. You bring in mine or um. Mm. Oh, one sec, babe. Originally, it was um, Just Couple was supposed to be kind of just on BBC Three's YouTube channel mm -hmm. and um, their website platform. Mm -hmm. um, but what happened, like, we were getting a really good response and BBC really liked it. And um, when episode six was coming out, mm -hmm. um, we got an email, I think, and they were like, oh, you know, good news, um, it's going to go on iPlayer. So they launched um, wow. episode six on BBC iPlayer, which we didn't like. I, we didn't expect it at all. You know, it didn't have to. They didn't have to put it on on iPlayer. Mm -hmm. So it was it was a really nice surprise because a lot of people before, you know, when it first when we first announced that oh, um, just the couple is gonna, you know, there's gonna be some new episodes mm -hmm. with BBC Three with Big Talk Production, etc., etc. People expected it to be on iPlayer. They thought that's where they were gonna go and find it. So a lot of people were messaging us saying. I can't find it, it's not an iPlayer. Yeah. A lot of people were saying this and we're like, guys, you're not understanding. It's, <laughs> it's, it's on BBC, BBC Three's um, online platforms, which is their YouTube and their website. Yeah. That, that's where yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, Shav, why is it back to episode one? I don't know, it should continue where we left off, right? Yeah, it should, shouldn't it? Hmm. I wonder what happened. I don't know. Oh, you don't? You sure about that? Maybe. Maybe. I... Yes. So, when we found out it was going to be on BBC iPlayer, it was really nice because, you know, they have their own audience and BBC iPlayer, like, when you go on, it's kind of there, kind of got all suggest little... it to mm. you and it kind of, you know, if, it, if it's very popular, it going to, like, their most popular programmes and people look at these things. So it was just really nice that people could find the whole thing as like a box set kind of thing yeah. on BBC Airplane and kind of binge watch it, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So for people that want to go and whatever, you go there on BBC Airplane, boom, you watch the whole thing. And it's like wow. a little, in length, it's kind of it like is. a film. It's like a movie. Yeah, oh, in oh, length. Oh, I was just going on, and oh, no, I enjoyed it. it yeah, really so that was a nice surprise because it wasn't something we thought was going to happen, but it was a really nice, news to have. That's, that's beautiful, yeah. that sounds yeah. lovely though. Yeah. Um, so, just kind of talking a little bit more about like your background and stuff, so, like, mm. where, where are you from? Okay, so um, I was born in Zambia. Zambia? Yeah, I was born oh. in Zambia um, and I grew up here Mm. Um, Northwest London, so I came to this country when I was about two years old. Okay. Um, most of my background in terms of like career um, is in TV, so I've done mostly TV stuff, mm. um, you know, film, short films, short films. Mm. Um, but mm. I have done a bit of theatre. Like I did my first theatre tour about two years ago, and it was a national tour, so it was all around the UK, like York, mm. Winchester, you know, Newcastle. It was all around the um, all around the UK, and it was for a play called oh, God, Antigone, sorry. and it was a Roy Williams adaptation. Oh, I didn't and like so, it. yeah, it was a really. I mean, because I had never done professional theatre. Must have been amazing. Uh, yeah, I'd never done like professional theatre. I'd done a lot of TV stuff, so it was my first like theatre job in bulk like because it was for a couple of months and I was on the road for a couple of months so it's proper like act life yeah, I guess on the road yeah on the road whoa 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 Shav what are you doing what does it look like I'm doing I'm watching TV yeah you're wearing my slippers Shav and you're using my mug Shav you know I have a program I plan to watch today <laughs> oh we don't all get what we want in life oh, okay <laughs> trying to play games yeah okay no problem <laughs> but 
but it was, I can't lie to you, it was very challenging. It was challenging yeah. because coming from a TV background and not have gone through, I didn't go through professional training as an actor. Okay. So like I didn't go to like drama school, I didn't go to Raza Lambda, none of these things. I did try, don't get mm. me wrong, I tried. You I tried. tried to audition. You got I paid, I paid my 50 pound, I tried to audition. No yeah, way. And got rejected. No. So yeah, did I tried. to audition? What do you mean? You have to pay to audition, you know? Pay to audition, oh, yeah? God. You pay to audition. So I tried, I went to Rada at Lambda Central School. Yes, I'm calling you out. <laughs> so I, I, went, I went to all those places. Uh, it's alright, I forgive you guys, I forgive you, it's cool, it's cool. Yeah, it's okay. I went, I went to all those today. places, mm-hmm. yeah, I went to all those places. I was young, because I've mm. always been the youngest in my class. You're or very so, young, sorry. Yeah. I, 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 I didn't realise, could you come across so mature? Yeah, you have to grow up in this industry real quick. I can see. <laughs> yeah. I can um, see. But um, yeah, so I went, I, I auditioned for them, I was rejected. Mainly, some of them gave feedback, some of them didn't. But majority of the feedback was basically, I should go out into the world and get more ex- life experience. Which, okay, it was, it was, a, it was mm. a good good bit of feedback, I guess. But yeah. it was what kind of launched me into taking my next move, which was, you know what, cool. I'm gonna do this thing on my own, innit? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so I went and I decided, you know what? 17, found like a little flexible job, and I went looking for a part time drama school. Something, you still have to audition for like part time drama schools, but it's just something to keep me active yeah. after I left college. It was something to keep me active. Keep so I found one and it had an agency with it, and my goal was basically instead of going through drama school and all that, I felt, do you know what? Why don't I just do this? Why don't I just try and do this thing professionally? Why that. do I need to go through? Let me just let me just try just and do this thing. The so I did that. Yeah. So I, I went and auditioned, and um, the agency that I was connected to, the drama school that I went to, they really liked me or whatever, and um, nice. they picked me up. They're the people that signed me, so I got signed at about like six. I think I was sixteen, going on seventeen. Wow. Okay. From there, it kind of it was like dominoes. Like I had a really good first year. Like it was like dominoes effect. I even stopped going to the drama school, like I was just kind of active, very active. Um, Actively active. Yeah, I was just, I was just active. I was just very active, and it was a re, it was re, it was a really good time for me. And I guess it's just when I started to get older, you know, things change. You know, like, you know, you start to learn um, that it's actually important for you to actually work on your craft because. Yeah. That's one thing I became quite laid back in. Mm. I became quite laid back. Like I was active nice. in, in TV, mm. but I wasn't active in craft. Like I wasn't where I, I stopped working on my craft a bit. Like I was just kind of autopilot audition. Okay, cool. Let me read the lines. Let me do my breakdowns. Let me do yeah, this, yeah. this, 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 yeah. do my work and go out there. But I wasn't brushing up on me as as an actor like you know as as this i wasn't brushing up on my skills oh, i stopped and thought about it i was like hold on i'm just going with this but I'm like what am i doing like i need to i need to brush up and work on this a little yeah, bit like, i can't yeah. just be just be going 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 like you know so i did that but i had to find something i could connect with because i didn't want to go back to a certain type of training i there were specific things I wanted to work on as an actor mm. and so like now I have like an acting coach who's amazing um, amazing and, that's great yeah who's amazing who I work with you know on a regular well right now she's had a baby so oh, I haven't seen her for her. a while that's amazing. but um yeah but congratulations um, to her congratulations congratulations <laughs> um but um oh. yeah so like I have her now so you know any questions or whatever I feel because acting is not just about just acting it's like if there's things going on in your personal life like it reflects through your acting like it reflects when you go into an audition room that affects like your life your career like your your acting is your your life yeah so it's like I've come to this I've come to this conclusion or realization that it's it's not just you got to work on yourself as a character as well as your acting ability. Do you yeah. know what I mean? It's like they work side by side. Like if you've got some baggage that you need to deal with, you need to sort that stuff out or to be able hold. to be effective in your craft. Yeah.